Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another tutorial. I'm sorry if my voice again, like always, sounds a bit weird. I had a great party last night, so I went all out because that's probably the last time I saw most of my high school friends because I will be going to university in like two weeks or something. But anyways, I had a great time. I woke up today at like 2 p.m. or something. So that's crazy late, but anyways, I'm awake and I saw everyone on Twitter going crazy about this little uh, work in progress thing I posted for a client. And um, everyone wanted to know how I did that little 3D logo rotation. I might do an other another tutorial also on uh, the obey studios logo because that one had a little bend or twist in it and I might do another tutorial on that as well anyways today we'll be just explaining you how i did this little 3d uh, logo effect um, mainly the rotation i'm not going to explain how i animated the logo itself with the hearts popping down and stuff just i'm just going to explain the 3d logo rotation i've opened up a new project and i'm also going to open up a new composition so everyone was basically thinking that it was uh, something super difficult let's call this composition main by the way but it's actually super easy to make for some reason my background is never really black okay, there we go we said it's black so i'm gonna show you how to do this with a little square or something but you can basically do it with any sort of layer it doesn't have to be a shape layer or a square so let's go let's pick this red it's really ugly but it doesn't matter it's it's doing fine for the tutorial let's put it in the middle basically what you want to do next is just select this layer and pre-composition it um just call this logo or something okay so the next thing we're gonna do is just select this logo um, we're gonna turn on the 3d cube and we're gonna press on p to open up the composition we are going to the position and we're gonna click on separate dimensions we're gonna alt click the z position i'm just gonna type in index and basically what this does every time we copy it it will um shift it uh, backwards one position so if we um press ctrl d like 10 times ctrl d makes a uh, layer duplicate itself we pop up the uh, p position you can see that each one is like one pixel behind the other one so if we select all of these and copy this like five more times or something until we have 60 layers in total we go from one to 60 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to layer and i'm gonna go to new and i'm gonna go to adjustment layer okay so once we have the new adjustment layer we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna type in uh, curves and we're just gonna put the curves on the adjustment layer and the next thing we're gonna do is just grab this top point and we're gonna drag it down a bit until everything is darker then i'm gonna go and duplicate the layer one more time and i'm gonna select the top layer and drag it above there and right now we're gonna press ctrl a to select everything and we're gonna Okay, I go to pre-compose again and just type in logo 3D or something. And then we're gonna turn on 3D for this. And then the most important step is to click this and this will collapse transform everything. So it will sort of keep the transform options from the previous um, composition. So if we now select this layer, we press R. So if we now select this layer and press R to pop up the orientation, we can see that if we mess around with the white rotation, we have a little cube. So we can easily twist this around and animate this. So I personally didn't create that shadow effect, that shadow effect effect is just um by the shadow effect is just created by making an adjustment layer making each layer above uh, underneath the top layer just a little bit darker so you can remove that and you'll still have a 3d cube if you twist a little bit as you can see here the only thing that you might want to take in account is um that the anchor point is not really centered so if we rotate the y rotation at 90 you can see that um this is the cube but the anchor point if we go to anchor point is here i personally have 61 layers or 62 layers right now so i'm just gonna uh, put the anchor point it like 30 or something and as you can see the anchor point is perfectly in the middle right now and this will prevent your rotations uh, from looking really weird so yeah basically that was a tutorial um i will probably make another tutorial on how to do that um 3d twisting logo because that's a little bit different and we're gonna use a plugin for that thank you for watching everyone um please subscribe we got super close to like 500 subscribers and we're growing really fast i appreciate that and i will see each and all of you in the next video hopefully so yeah bye everyone